I didn't know Dick Clark. I would like to have known Dick Clark because, by all accounts, he was a pretty cool guy. A very personable guy on TV, and he knew how to make money. Well, except for that business back in the 60s. The story goes that he owned a piece of Swan Records, which, frankly, I never heard of and nobody else did either. But it was Swan Records that first put out the Beatles in this country. Unfortunately for Dick Clark, by then, his interest in Swan Records had been sold because he was called before Congress during the payola hearings, and while he testified that no record companies paid him off, he sold off Swan Records to avoid the appearance of impropriety. He said later it cost him $8 million. The other thing I liked about Dick Clark, with all the game shows and other things he did, when ABC had a huge mega hit with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and Regis Philbin screaming, uh, Fox went to Dick Clark Productions and said, we need something like that. And like a week later, it was a really weak imitation on many levels. It was a show called Greed. They had Chuck Woolery dressed like Regis, you know, the dark suit, the dark shirt, the dark tie. Kind of like what some of my co-workers still wear on TV, but I won't get into that. But the concept of the show is much better because at some point they would have teammates pretty much attack each other and then try and beat them out of their share of the money, which made it really nasty and mean-spirited and really appealing to me. Rest in peace, Dick.